Hey guys, FX Gurus here, and uh, do I have another tutorial for you? Uh, this one has to do with blood splatters. Now, right now I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 10, which is about $500, but I, you can use this for basically any other software like Final Cut or After Effects. Now, if you were using After Effects, you'd go into your whatever tab, and you'd import your uh, footage. But the, the thing is, I'm using Sony Vegas, so I can just drag and drop. Um, you're going to want to import your uh, blood splatter. So you're going to want to go through, find the one that you like. I'm just going to use this random one, and there you go. Now in After Effects, uh, the blood, see the background, the black? That should already be keyed out. But since we're using Vegas, it isn't. So what you do is you right click on the footage stream, click properties, go into media, go to, down to this alpha channel tab, click pre multiplied, click OK, bang, transparent. Look at that. Isn't that epic? Now I'm using a Van Pan Crop. Don't use that really for Vegas. With uh, After Effects, you can actually just take the footage and drop it anywhere you want on top of the other footage. But in, After, or in Sony Vegas, you actually have to move it around uh, manually. So I'm just going to move it over here. Now the thing is, that looks kind of big. Because, you know, when you get shot, there isn't going to be a huge thing of blood unless it's a really big bullet. So I'm actually going to scale that down. That looks about right. I'm going to rotate that just a little bit so it looks cool. Move it to where I want it. Now, if you look here, my actor actually, or my dad, gets shot in the right shoulder first. Well, that's on the left shoulder. So I'm just going to kind of move it over by the left shoulder where it looks cooler. And bang. But wait a minute. Kind of doesn't look right right about there, if you play through it. Wait a minute. What's that all about? Well, I'll tell you. See, it goes really slow. It goes the, about the same speed that it is when you first put it in. Just the problem is, whenever you make an object smaller, you have to speed it up so to make it look more realistic. Or whenever you make an object bigger, you have to slow it down. So, with uh, After Effects, you just right-click click on it and click Enable Time Switch or Time Whatever, and it gives you a percentage to increase it by. You, usually 70 or 50 is a good percent. Here in Sony Vegas, we have this playback rate. Well, the thing is, we don't need to use that. You just hold down Control on the keyboard and do this. And as you can see, those little squiggly li lines in the uh, footage means that it's slowed down or sped up depending on how close to, to each other they are. So I'm just going to speed it up a bit. That's about its normal length. I'm just going to speed it up there. And uh, if you look at it, it looks a little bit better. Okay, well that's okay. But wait a minute, he's getting shot at from the front, not the back. Well, what does that mean? That means I have it on the wrong side. But the thing is, with uh, bullets, it depends. Sometimes they don't go all the way through, and sometimes they do. This one I decided to make go all the way through. So to do that, I'm just going to take one of our other ones. I'm just going to put it in. Bloodshot 16 is pretty good. I'm going to speed it up, because I already know that I'm going to make it go fast or make it smaller. Oh, I forgot to uh, go in and pre-multiply it. So now I've sped it up already, and now I'm just going to place it pretty much horizontal. But that's really big. Bullets hits are actually rather small. There's not a ton of blood. It's not big and flashy. It's actually rather small. Not too small. Noticeable, but not too small. Now the thing is, my actor is moving. So, well, I guess... See that? That looks kind of unrealistic. It looks like it's going through the right side and coming out the left, if you look at it. And plus, he moves, actually. 
So, I mean, that bullet hit has to move with him. So, yeah. But since we're doing this on the left side, we don't need this yet. Not at all. So, he gets hit left side. Now he gets hit right side. I'm going to go right before he really gets hit. I'm just going to drop in another one. Just kind of in a new video track. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to pre-multiply it. Alright, now I'm going to set that over. Or in Sony Vegas, it's called track motion. It's not really track motion. At all. It just lets you adjust the footage. So here is that. Usually these blood splatters are nice. They're really helpful. Um, with After Effects, you might want to look at some of Freddy Wong's tutorials. Uh, you, if you don't know who Freddy is, it's kind of sad. <laughs> if you're a short filmmaker. But uh, look him up if you don't. Uh, he'll teach you how to do shadows and stuff. And uh, many of that stuff applies to uh, Sony Vegas. Except when you're using the subtract mode. Um, all you really do is just duplicate it, put it somewhere, and make it darker, and lower the opacity, and move it with the stuff, but, I mean... So here he kind of gets hit, but wait, the bullet isn't just coming at us, it's kind of going through him. I kind of messed up and used the wrong hit. I'm going to put in another one, actually below it, and uh, I'm going to pre-multiply that one too. And uh, I'm actually going to move it over. I can't see where it is, so I'm going to have to like scroll over just a little bit. And I'm going to move that over there, make it smaller. And uh, move it right there, make it even smaller so it's not too big. And uh, I'll also speed it up because I made it small. And if we go over here, bang, wait a second, it's way too small. You don't really see it. What do we do? Make it bigger. And move it a little bit more. See, it requires a lot of adjusting to get blood hits right. Don't cheap out on your blood hits. Not a good idea. I also need to make this a little bit longer because it's going by too fast. That looks better. But wait, he gets hit in the left again. Sadly, his shoulder is covering up where the bullet entry would be, so we can't do anything about that. But right here, he gets hit in the chest, center chest. And as you can see, right along here, we would have that. So, uh, let's move this track up to first, which carries our blood splat 16. Right there he gets shot. And uh, we'll motion this over... Uh-oh. We don't want that. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'll have to reset this for a second. Put that over there. Okay. So here we are. Blah, 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 and bang. Okay. Here's where it starts. Track motion is a little bit annoying in uh, Sony Vegas because it's just like. It's annoying. So here's that. Bullet hits goes through. Oh, wait, he goes forward. Uh, we need to track that over. Because the bullet goes all the way through, blah, blah, blah. And I guess right about there we can fade it out. I just want to use a small fade out because I don't want to track it the whole way. If you want to, you can, but it's annoying. So it kind of looks like right there. But the bullet goes all the way through. I'm going to go over one frame, because it takes a little bit of time for a bullet to go all the way through you. Especially a small 40 caliber round, or 44. I was using a Glock, so it was like a 44, maybe a 40. Not a Magnum. Not a Magnum. That would... I don't think they make Magnum Glocks. I'm not sure. But... <laughs> I'm going to make this smaller, because, you know, blood hits aren't huge. Unless you're Freddy Wong who makes, like, huge powdery blood hits. <laughs> and actually, you don't need, really need to move that one because it's just a bunch of blood hanging in midair. But you do need to make it a little bit faster because I made it smaller and it just looks better. So there, bang. If we, uh... 
come over here. Somewhere in here, I downloaded this add-on to generate RAM preview. If you go, if you're in After Effects, you just push zero on the numpad, but which will include RAM preview of everything, including the sound. Sony Vegas, I have no idea what I'm doing with the RAM preview because I've never used it before. I don't even think I have it anymore. <laughs> I might have got rid of it. Anyway. But yeah, there you go. You want it not too big, but not too small. You want it to go all the way through if it, the bullet, if you want the bullet to go all the way through. If it does go all the way th through, you want the front impact first, and then the back impact a second later, or a frame or two later. Um, you might want to move the front impact. And if you, you should put shadow in uh, with big hits or uh, things that are sunny, like in this one right here, it's on his back. You might want to put shadow in there. Freddie Wong teaches you how to do that, and if you know how, you can incorporate that into Sony Vegas. Or if you're using After Effects, you can go ahead and use his method. So there you go. That is my tutorial. If you want me to include anything... If if you think I missed out on something in this tutorial, or I didn't like I didn't add something, or I said something that was just stupid and uh, didn't make any sense because that doesn't apply to actual blood editing, just tell me um, in the comments or send me a personal message, and I will make a new one including the elements that you want to be included. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe.